Hold on, hold on. That's him. Shit, we went inside. Let's try and figure out where to. Hey, there he is. Well fucking done, man. Guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told them why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one... Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who asked? I was thinking pizza delivery. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still, you can't show up and expect them to just let you stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tok's body? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. Suck at this. Almost there. Why am I bad? Nice. That'll do it.
down. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。I'm heading back now. Better hurry. The plan's working. KJ Art's chilling out over here. They just called a repairman. Perfect. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, okay. Hi there. I heard you're having some heater trouble. I'm here to fix it. Yes, it seems to have stopped. Thank you for coming on such short notice. The main unit is just out the door to the left, right around the emergency stairwell. Uh, mind if I take a look at an indoor unit as well? These things can be pretty complicated. Is that really necessary, sir? It'll help me get a better idea of the whole system. I'd rather not bore you with the specifics. Very well then. Sure. There's one in the security office to your left. Thank you very much. I'll have you guys heated up in no time. Uh huh. What the?
Just the guy I was looking for. Here to fix the heat, yeah? Got something I need you to check out. Oh, sure. No problem. Come on, this way. <laughs> Freezing my balls off, man. Hope this goes quick. on and all, but nothing's happening. Okay, let me see what I can do. Yep, yeah, this thing's seen better days. Thanks, Sherlock. Can you fix it? Hey, genius. If you're gonna fix it, don't you need to take the panel off first? <laughs> hey, what's up? something. Never realized it was that simple. Glad I could be of service. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other repairs to make. Ah, who are you? Oh, I'm uh, here to repair the heater, sir. Weird. You ain't the usual guy. Where's our man, huh? Never had anyone else come for us. Oh, uh, about that. You know what? I'll... I'm actually from Comro Maintenance, sir. Have you heard of us? We're small, but, uh, growing? Can't say that I have. Must be new in town. I guess someone else put the call in then. Sorry, sir. Uh, I didn't mean to startle you. Yeah, it's all right. Makes sense why I wouldn't recognize you. We fix it or your money back, sir.
almost there. <clears throat> I suck at this. Nice. Got it. You wanna die, huh? Please! You worthless piece of shit!
thinking, dumbass? We warned you this was gonna happen. Please, I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Just get the hell out of here. Huh? But... Huh? Kaito-san? But I got a call about a broken heater. I told you. We figured it out. All fi- Hey! Who the hell are you? Shh! I'm just here to talk, Murase-san. Look, I risked my life to get in here. Just- I don't have to do shit. You can't boss a Yakuza around! you after, huh? I already said, I just want to talk. Look at this. This is you running away after abandoning Kume. Who do you think you are? I'm a local detective. Hamura's lawyer is having me look into Kume's murder. So what? You're defending Hamura? You think I'm gonna tell you shit, asshole? 
I thought we already negotiated. You want to go again? You're not getting out of this unscathed, you know. I know your face now. Do you really think Hamura killed Kume? Of course I do. Who else could have done it? That's what I'm trying to find out. I need to know what happened that night. <sighs> it's as clear as day. Hum I'm sure this is tough to look at. But as you can see, there's almost no blood around his body. That means he was killed somewhere else then transported to the alleyway. Oh, I guess so, huh? Mm, doesn't add up, does it? So, you ready to talk now? Hmm. <sighs> okay, let's take it from the top. Now, after you ran away from Amor, where exactly did you go? You couldn't just let them take Kume, could you? Yeah, I had to do something. So, I went to round up the rest of the clan. We had to take Kume back. But nobody would help, would they? You kidding? Of course they helped. We burst in there ready to bust heads. But I thought nobody else went in or out of Amor. What? You mean because the camera didn't see anyone? <laughs> Funny thing, that. Turns out you can't get seen if the camera's broken. The back alley was our ticket in. So you really went inside? Yep. Not a soul in the house, though. Trust me, we searched the whole damn joint. And when was that? Just after midnight, I suppose. Right when the prosecution says Hamura was laying into Kume. If you're telling the truth, that's a clear contradiction. Huh. Who gives a shit what the prosecution says? Hamura killed Kume, and that's that. Ain't no other way. Maybe so. But the police still need to hear your story. If you could just testify to that... You gotta be kidding me. Why the fuck would I do that, huh? huh? Yeah, it was worth a try. Hmph. <laughs> nice work. So Murase busts into a moor. And who does he find? Nobody. Yep. Captain Hamura said he kicked Kume out, then hit the sauna right around midnight. The stories match up. You really think he's innocent? Not sure. Our next step is finding proof he was at that sauna. Guess that's that. Well, I'm pooped. How about we call it here for tonight? Yeah, good call. I'll see you tomorrow, Kaito-san.
Hey, you find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani-sensei. So, according to Marase, Amor was empty at midnight on the 3rd. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamuro was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Marase gonna testify? That's not that easy. Uh, it never is. Either way, Marase is telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is Amor, three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. over to the Camarocho police station. Will do. Thanks. When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? Don't ask me. Shintani senses your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. A Kyori man by the name of Murase comes to a moor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Marase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah. I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? Hey, you have a sec? Of course. What do you need? I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Ah, uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. It's okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. 
What's all this? <laughs> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned someone who had a job for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one for you after all. Sorry. Apparently the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter now anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. It sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars for killing a man and gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Captain Hamura. Surprised? Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. You'll have to ask the guy directly. Who is he? Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaiji Street. That's where I'd look. Hey, you have a sec? Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Say his son, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. Yep. Oh, hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh, I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure. Just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. It's working. It's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Huh, it might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Sukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. Wait a sec. You mean Seiya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just looking for Seiya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey, are you implying my Seiya-kun stood me up? I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Uh-huh. Uh, how long have you been waiting anyway? I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me.
really, guys? Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Uh, did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. It is not fine? What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Seiya-kun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? Nope. Struck out on all three leads. Huh. How about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? A new hit! <laughs> the landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently they posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> that's not a hot lead. I don't know what is. Oh. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> Hey, Seiya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my chan I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait. 
You know who I am? I do. The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty? Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You're sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight. Out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star? Isn't that near Sonic 10? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why'd he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like, mumbling to himself or something. Kinda scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once. He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna. That Goten place you mentioned. So just to recap, he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. As long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. And can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too. <laughs> sure, I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. I know you, boy. 
Marase. What a coincidence. Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. Boys! Get this fucker back to the office! I really don't have time for this. You talk! Kaito-san! Stay the fuck out of this! Where are you? Come on! That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you wanna try helping out? Sure thing. My turn! You two fuckers are going down now! This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamarasan, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamarasan walk into Sana Goten. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamarasan's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, Counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry.